I'm here at the Jamestown Distributors Workshop with TJ, who's going to show us how to install Lenco trim tabs to this 25-foot Surf Hunter. Trim tabs are great for boats that are 18 feet and up. Uh, they really help level out your boat if you have an uneven weight distribution, and they'll help you get up on plane faster, uh, which in turn increases your fuel efficiency. Take a look at this how-to video. First measure 3 eighths of an inch up from the transom and make a reference line. Line the bottom of the tab up with the reference line and determine an ideal mounting location. The edge of the tab must be between 1 and 4 inches from the chine and the edge of the hinge is not closer than 2 inches from the strake edge. Once you have it where you need it, trace the hole patterns. Use a 3 16 drill bit to drill the pilot holes one and a quarter inch deep. If you don't have a drill stop, you can use a small amount of tape for a reference. Use 3M5200 to seal each of the holes. Now screw the trim tab onto the transom. Loosely attach the upper and lower mounting brackets to the actuator. Now mount the actuator to the trim tab. To properly position the upper mounting bracket to the transom, you must lift the tab so that the trailing edge is approximately three quarters of an inch above the straight edge when held to the hull. Let the upper bracket sit naturally and trace the hole onto the transom. Before drilling, check the inside of the transom for clearance. Now drill the three sixteenth pilot holes one and a quarter inch deep and fill them with 5200. Then slide the rubber grommet onto the cable up to the upper mount. Then run the wire through the transom forward. Next install the black control box within 24 inches of the intended location of the keypad. For warranty purposes, it must be mounted on a vertical surface. Choose a location for the keypad that is convenient for you, but has sufficient clearance behind it. Use the provided template and a 2 inch hole saw for the main hole. Drill 4 3 16 holes for the keypad studs. Connect the plug to the keypad and install it. Now connect the plugs to the control box. Use a small amount of dielectric grease to prevent corrosion. Connect the red power wire to a circuit breaker or 20 amp fuse. Test them both for full range of motion and the project is complete. It's a fairly straightforward installation. It can be accomplished by one person. It takes roughly five hours. Now remember that Lenco trim tabs and the control switch are sold separately. You can find them and all of the tools for the installation on our website at jamestowndistributors.com.